Okay, y'all, I have a kind of fun day plan. I think it was kind of, um, how do I say it, funky? Like, spur of the moment. I went to pick up my camera this morning and it would not turn on. And I feel like my camera is about to go kaput. So if it blacks out in the middle of me talking to y'all, this is why. But I'm gonna actually go to Best Buy and see if I can find a new camera. And then while I'm over there, I may run into Home Goods. I've also gotta go to Walmart to pick up a few things. We are like out of toothpaste on our very last like trying to squeeze out every last drop. So I'm probably gonna go to Walmart. Um, I have a really fun recipe that I already filmed that I'm gonna put into this video. I asked y'all on Instagram what you wanna see and overwhelmingly, y'all said you wanna see more vlogs and daily lives. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's go shopping first, then we'll cook later. Oh, and I wanna show you. I went to Aldi last week. They have the best stuff. I did like some Aldi hauls on TikTok, but let me show you what I got from Aldi. Okay, so y'all know how we have like, hey B, <laughs> the sea glass chandeliers over there. So I found these beautiful sea glass canisters. I wanna say they were like $12 so so pretty and then i just put one of our little flickering lights in there so at nighttime it gives like our little coffee bar some ambiance and coziness but i thought these were so pretty so if you go to aldi try and find them they're gorgeous and while i'm over here just so you know i've already been thinking about fall and christmas and i'm so excited to like start decorating for all of that and i have been like dreaming of what i want to do over here and Bunky and I have been talking about um, actually getting something built here that will like give us more, uh, how do you say it? Storage. Storage, but also more, um, not shelves, cabinets, cabinets. Yes, cabinets. So that we can have more storage, but then also um, like that's our pantry and it's really not big enough. So something to add on to that, but then we would also have a little buffet area that I could still decorate, maybe some shelving. I don't know. So that's in the works. We've been thinking and talking about it. Okay, I'm going shopping. I'll see you in a little bit. Oh yes. Has anybody ever seen our shell, our <laughs> shells on the shelves? <laughs> I don't know. Mr. B put those there. Look at these little tiny little shells, huh? I know, they're so cute. We found all of these out by the ocean. Y'all know we call these um, Alabama shells. Long story. I probably told y'all before, but anyway. Why are they called Alabama shells, Bunk? Because Mr. Alabama. There was a gentleman on the beach one day mm -hmm. and he was telling you about those shells and I think shells. He shells. was from Alabama, I think. So now we call them Alabama shells. He found them for me. He found like 10 of them and gave yeah. them to me. So yeah, we call them Alabama shells, but. Look at this one, it's just so little. Just a little cute baby. I'm going shopping. I'll see you later. All right. Wish me luck. Don't buy anything you don't need. Okay, and you be sweet to Daisy May. I will. <laughs> Okay, so I just left Best Buy. They do not have like any cameras in stock. So regardless, I'm gonna have to order one. And I'm almost happy that they did not have any in stock because I wanna really take my time and figure out like the best camera that I wanna use for my channel. So anyway, Bunky and I are gonna do some more research. We will order one and then just hope that my camera will like hold out just a little bit longer. It's very old and obviously very loved and used, um, but hopefully it will make it like one more week. So so anyway, I am going to go to Home Goods now. There's a few things for our house that like, you know, just have my eye out for. So I'm gonna go in there and see what all they have. So I only got one thing in Home Goods. I'm very proud of myself. It only cost me five dollars. The lady who like rang me out, she was like, "Wow, not many people can come in here and only spend five dollars." I was like, "Normally I cannot, but 
I didn't like see anything that I really wanted as far as home decor but what I got is like so me I'll show you guys once I get home but um I am so hungry so I was gonna go to Chick-fil-a I pulled in and the line was insanely long so I'm not going there then I was gonna go to this like hibachi place that's next to Walmart that I love but also California dreaming is like attached to that parking lot and if y'all don't know this California Dreaming chicken tenders are my absolute favorite in the whole wide world but Bunky doesn't love California Dreaming so we don't come here that often and I'm like you know what while he's not with me I'm gonna go in here and get some lunch so I'm about to go in here and sit by myself and have lunch and it's gonna be nice I wish I had my book so I could read but um anyway I'm gonna go eat then we will head into Walmart and then head home Okay, so I'm back home now. I'm gonna show y'all what I picked up at Home Goods and Walmart. Can I just say that California Dreamin' chicken tenders, y'all, there's nothing like it. Their ranch dressing is just so good. I love the breading on there. Like, Bunky, I had the best time. I'm glad you enjoyed it that was little trip so, without me. So good, it was so good, so good. Okay, so anyway, Walmart. Actually, let me give you Home Goods first. See, now I told y'all I only spent $5 in there, and I don't really need another coffee mug at all, but this was just so me, I had to get it, okay? Y'all should see my eyes rolling Bunky's right rolling now. Bunky's rolling his eyes. But hang on now, every time we go out of town, Bunky's favorite thing to buy is a coffee mug. Do we need them? But they're keepsakes. They're keepsakes. They're little treasures. I'm gonna expect you to keep that there, coffee cup, for the rest of your life. Oh, you just wait, this is a treasure, okay? It says, start the day with a smile. Tell me that is not me in a coffee mug. Oh, shoot. I can't argue with that one. Right? It's just so sweet. It's so me. That's good right there. Okay, so I was very excited to find this. So that's my $5 find from the Home Goods. Now, from Walmart. Y'all, I got so excited because, show them my lamp back there that I got from Target. Okay, so you know how I got that lamp whenever we first moved into this house? And I love it. Like, it is just the prettiest, one of my favorite lamps. Well, okay that lamp sold out and i never could link it for y'all because it's like never come back in stock in walmart today they have a cute cute cute, cute similar small version of it for like ten dollars maybe eleven but is this not the most precious little lamp wow matches? hold your coffee cup up beside it just to give us a little uh, perspective here okay coffee mug lamp it's teeny tiny okay it's so cute. Okay, so for 10 bucks, this is like a great little find and it's just so pretty. So, so excited to find that. And then I got us some Priscilla. Good, that's staying my favorite. fresh, staying fresh, clean clothes. We were like out of that and. Yeah, we really were. Oh, dryer sheets. Yeah, dryer sheets. Got some dryer sheets for Mr. B. I don't really use these, but Bunky loves them. Oh, toothpaste, so Bunky already took that upstairs. I got him some deodorant. Yep, thank you. took all you. that upstairs? Yeah. Okay, and now, <clears throat> the thing I'm most excited about that I got from Walmart, y'all know I have been on the hunt for a cordless vacuum so I can do our stairs and our upstairs and all that. I finally found one in stock. I um, really was gonna get a Dyson, but I was like, you know what? This one will be just fine. And honestly, what I like is that it has, can you see how down here, like it doesn't have like. It's got. How you say it? Power fins. Not bristles, but like fins. So basically, silicone. it doesn't get your hair like all wrapped in there. It stays like this. So I'm so excited to try this because otherwise my hair be everywhere. Who's that? Who's this dog? That's little doggy. So I finally got us a cordless vacuum too. Still on the hunt for a microwave. Yeah, actually I went down the aisle <laughs> for the microwave, but they just still didn't have the one that I like. Cause if I'm gonna get one and it's gonna be on our counter, like I want it to be pretty. Mm -hmm. And I found one that's like 
very coastal. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking I'm going to try and find that one. But, okay, that's all of my things. Now, the other day, I like started thinking I was going to film what's for dinner, but we got super busy and just like didn't cook a lot last week. But I did make Bunky and I such a good little lunch. So I'm going to take y'all back to that and share that recipe with you right now. Okay y'all, so I'm just gonna actually throw this recipe in here. I'm about to make Bunky and I some lunch, but I know that this recipe would be a great lunch or dinner, very easy. Once I tell you the ingredients, you're gonna be like, oh, this is like a Bunky recipe, like right up my alley. Um, and I actually found this recipe from my friend Haley over at Home with Haley. She's like the Weight Watchers queen. She is killing it, y'all. I love watching her videos. And I saw her make this and I was like, that sounds so good and it's so easy. So anyway, I'm gonna try and recreate it today with y'all. I will leave her um, video links down below if you wanna go watch it. But I'm gonna get everything out and then we're gonna get to cooking. Okay, so for easy cleanup, I just went ahead and lined my baking dish with some tinfoil and kind of lightly sprayed it. She meal prepped this, but since I'm just making it for mine and Bunky's lunch, I'm just gonna do the two pieces. And then to season my chicken breast on each side, I'm gonna add a little bit of a no nos if you don't have this just use whichever seasoning you love and then what makes this like Weight Watchers friendly I'm assuming is like the um, light sour cream so you're gonna use a little bit of light sour cream and season it to your liking y'all know we are obsessed with this kinder seasoning on chicken it's like there's nothing better, truly, it's so good. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this. I'm also gonna add in a little French seasoning because would it be a bunky recipe without it? And then a little bit of black pepper. If you just wanna do like garlic, onion powder, paprika, whatever you wanna do, there's the oven. But that's how I'm gonna season mine, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that all stirred together. I just remembered that I'm only making two pieces of chicken, so that is probably plenty of sour cream. And she did not do this, but y'all know we love a little heat. So I think I'm gonna add just a few dashes of this hot sauce into my sour cream mixture as well. And then we're gonna slather that all over the chicken. Okay, so now to each one of these, we're gonna top it with just a little bit of cheese and you can use whatever you want. I just had a little bit of this Colby Jack left, so I went ahead and shredded it up and then it's gonna get even better from here. And I'm sure hers was less, wait, what's yours points? Because I'm sure she used less cheese than I'm about to. <laughs> so then she topped hers with these French fried onion pieces, which I feel like just takes it to the next level. My bunkie is going to be obsessed. So I'm gonna do that for his, but since I don't eat these, I'm just gonna put a few little sprinkles of these um, bacon bits on mine. But either way, you could kind of do whatever you want. You can even do like breadcrumbs or Ritz crackers. Kind of make this however you like. Okay, these look so good. They are going into the oven for just like 20 to 30 minutes until they are done. And then while those are in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and make us some potatoes in the air fryer to go along with these and they're gonna be so scrumptious. I put the chicken in. One minute later, here comes Monkey. <laughs> it's like you smelled it. I, the, the smell is wafting upstairs. It's wafting? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna season these with a little bit of anti no nos and some ranch seasoning, of course. Just carrying this flavor throughout. Oh, a little black pepper too. Why not? Definitely. A little black pepper. I can kind of toss these with my hand as I put them in there. Make sure they're nice and seasoned. Throw them in. Mm, these are gonna be so good. Auntie no nos makes everything taste better. And then I'm gonna give these a little spray. I was wondering when the lubrication was coming. <laughs> yeah, olive oil. Give them a good toss, and then we'll pop these in the air fryer. Now we do have some cheese left over. Ooh. We could top those potatoes with this cheese, let it melt, okay? Okay. That's my love language. Let's just do potato start. I'll check them in a few minutes. <laughs> now Bunky's taking this recipe and making it his own. 
Because we can't leave it alone. We cannot leave your recipe alone. I'm just adding an additional side is all. I think that's actually going to be so good with your chicken. Like, yeah. take a bite of the tomato. Mm -hmm. Or you're just going to put some cherry tomatoes in the you, oven. You know I love a good... Uh, Warm tomato. Roasted up tomato. Yeah, you do. Okay, this might be like one of the best lunches I feel like I've ever made for Bunky and I. This chicken looks so good. And I know that that sour cream is gonna give it like lots of good moisture, so I'm sure it's amazing. We'll report back. Potatoes came out like perfection. I did turn them down to like 375 for just a couple of minutes, but y'all, they are like crispy, just goodness. I have some cucumbers. I gave Bunky a little bit of basil and feta on his tomatoes. Does this not look scrumptious? Okay, give us the rundown. Tell us what you think. Well, I started with a potato, surprisingly. I know. They're really good. Right? They're soft on, and creamy on the inside. Very nice exterior. That is the way to do potatoes. Yeah. I don't know why I always like forget about the air fryer. We need to do that more often. If you want to have potatoes more often, we need to cook them like that. <laughs> okay. Because they are good. Okay, good. I sprinkled a little basil and feta on your tomatoes. I hope you don't mind. Mm -mm. That's warm. It's probably really hot, yeah. I love a warm tomato. I know, it's your fave. Okay. On to us, the chicken. The give star, us the lowdown of the chicken. The star of the show. Hmm. Hey, very good. It's very good? Mm hmm Very simple. Those crispy fried onions on top. Do the are, trick? Yeah, they, they bring a lot. They pack a lot of flavor. Okay, good. So you like it? Oh yeah. It's a great. Uh, oh yeah, that's very good. I'll take that anytime. Okay. Okay, I just tried my piece of chicken and I have to come back and tell y'all because it is scrumptious. Like that sour cream on there, it just like melts and it has all that flavor in there. And then the cheesy bacon or onion, whatever, fried onions. Go with the crunchy onion. Well, either way, I'm just saying, I am very impressed and I love it. It reminds me of like Hello Fresh meals we do, you know? Yeah. With the sour cream. And those are my favorite ones. So I would say 10 out of 10 in my book. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. If you wanna see more videos like this, day in the life, vlogging content, all of that fun stuff, let me know down below in the comments. As always, if you have not subscribed, I would love for you to join our family. Give this one a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.